In this video, I will demonstrate how to quickly configure some iSCSI targets as well as initiators within Solaris. What I have here are a couple of VMs, S1, S2. I've been given IPs on the same subnet, and that's all we've got. Log in here. And we're in here. And we'll quickly set up a target. So, okay, so there we go. Uh, let's create a directory. And we're going to use that directory as a backing store for our targets, for our LUNs actually. And, oops, yeah. Let's make it a size. 500 megs, all one. So it's 500 megs, all two. And you get the idea. Now, all of these targets are actually right here. There's a directory created for each. Um, we've generated, oops, second here. We've generated. Uh, we've generated, let's see, let's just find one of these identifiers. We've created these files. Yeah, so, sparsely allocated, LUN0, there it is. Okay. So, we have three targets created. Go over here to the client, and actually, before we continue on further, I guess we can just very quickly uh, verify this. So, this target to the verbose, okay, so you can see each one, not a problem. All right, so let's go over to the client. Make sure we can ping the other box. All right, so uh, ping 10.0.0.1, and here's proof. That is the other box. Okay, so let's go back over to S2, so right here. On S2, what we want to do is Enable discovery and add discovery in the glass. One zero zero one. We'll just quickly pull those lens in. Okay. So there we are. <coughs> and then dev fs ADM. And we want to initialize those um, those devices. So now if I go over here and look for IQN, uh, sorry, uh, look for, so should be in here, there we are. Okay, and of course, not going to be an IQN, but there, there you go. Okay, so, or it won't show up. So, there are the devices, there are my slices, and if I do a format, I can see my devices here, my targets here. Okay? So anyhow, that was quick and dirty. Um, you've probably seen in other videos, I normally prefer to use Linux to create my targets, and um, it's just quicker and simpler. I find Solaris to be a little bit sluggish, at least on the x86 platform, but uh, I do know that uh, in many cases you have no choice. So there it is. Okay, so the target and the initiator both demonstrated right there. Thank you.